Hi guys, welcome back to Toon Blend 3D. Today, I'm going to show you how I model this low poly chibi girl character. By the way, I was inspired by a great video from the channel Lacruzo. The explanations are really clear and easy to follow. If you haven't watched it yet, make sure to check it out. First, let's import the image reference. You can make this in any drawing software. I created mine in Krita. Switch to the front view, then press Shift plus A. Choose image and reference. For this project, I'm using three reference images, front, side, and back view. Adjust their position so the character's feet align with the bottom axis line. Select all the reference images, then lower the opacity from the object data properties. Hold Alt while adjusting, or use the option to apply the change to all images at once. After that, rename each image according to its view side. Set the side, front to front, the back to back, and the side view to both. Next, create a new collection for the mesh objects. Let's start with the face. Add a plane and a mirror modifier. Don't forget to check clipping. Begin modeling from the front view, then adjust from the side and bottom. Use the knife tool to cut out the nose. Finally, tweak the shape to get better proportions. After finishing the face, don't forget to rename the mesh, then continue to the hair. Now for the hair, just like the face, start with a plane and a mirror modifier. The more complex the hairstyle, the longer it will take. So begin with the most important parts, like the front bangs or a unique hair pattern you want to highlight.
make sure the hair flows nicely around the head. Check the mesh from different angles to ensure it looks right. Next, the body. Add a cylinder with 8 vertices and no caps. Delete one half, then add a mirror modifier with clipping enabled. For the hands, use a circle with six vertices. Since this is low poly, I only modeled two fingers, the thumb and the middle finger. Make sure to rotate the circle correctly so that it aligns with the vertex line on the body's shoulder. Good topology is crucial in bending areas like elbows, knees, and fingers. Extra edge loops help the mesh to form smoothly and avoid unwanted distortion. The legs are made the same way as the arms, using a 6 vertex cylinder. Make sure to rotate the circle so it aligns with the vertex line on the body's waist. In here, I make sure to keep one straight vertex line right in the middle.
Once done, press A to select all vertices, then press M and merge by distance to clean up any doubled or overlapping vertices. The body is done. Now, let's move on to the ribbon. Then, for the ribbon, start with a plane and add a mirror modifier. Keep it simple with fewer vertices to maintain that low poly look. Finally, adjust and refine all the mesh objects to make sure the topology is clean. modeling is finished and in the next step we'll continue with UV mapping. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment. See you in the next video.